Good evening everyone and welcome back again into the meeting room. I hope you all guys are doing well. So here we got the dollar in index. Okay, so we have spoken about the dollar index yesterday as well. So nothing has changed in dollar index. So you guys can see that for short term dollar index is downside and for, for longer term dollar index is to the upside bullish yeah thank you I have seen that yeah. so for short term if you guys remember that we can see that this is the falling wedge okay this is the falling wedge how falling wedge forms let me draw that okay so we got the up move or impulse yeah so falling wedge forms like this yeah this is falling wedge it is quite similar like to the, the symmetrical triangle okay symmetrical triangle but symmetrical triangle you will see the lower trend line the, the lower trend line no gonna declining yeah gonna, uh, lower trend line gonna rising okay so symmetrical triangle gonna be like this Yeah, this is symmetrical triangle you guys can see that this is this trend line is rising yeah so this trend line rising trend line means price coming close to the trend line and respecting and getting back coming close to the trend line respecting and getting back yeah so respecting this trend line okay so in falling wedge falling wedge also quite similar like flag the price coming close to the lower trend line and respecting okay and here is the breakout here is the breakout so this is falling wedge we can see that this pattern is forming around you know on couple of pairs we can see that like usd chief dollar index euro usd australian dollar new zealand uh, new zealand dollar so we can see that this pattern is forming over there on the on on, on these pair Pairs, yeah this pattern okay for short term the trend is to the downside but for the longer run the trend gonna be to the upside yeah so this is the falling wedge okay falling wedge so how you can you identify that the, this is the falling wedge you can identify whenever price gonna form new lows you will see that price you know no gonna hit your lower trend line You're gonna change the formation from your lower trend line so you can see that the first trend line price was respecting was this yeah but here you can see that price has just changed the formation okay and change the pattern form formation yeah so form wedge okay what does this mean this means that price ranges are going to be narrow whenever price coming close to the bottom ranges going to be narrow within this corrective structure and breakout is about you know about to come breakout is about to come okay so that is you you know that is why you you know what you, why you can use trend line at, 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 at your lower Low, you know lower lower sides or lower lows okay so you can 
you can understand that prices the ranges are going to be narrow and breakout is just just their price is going to, to, to break with, with strong impulse okay so that is the falling wedge for another example if you guys remember that we 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 were trading on this falling wedge since very long yeah on this falling wedge since very long okay and if you don't know either it is falling wedge or what you may not try you you may trapped on continuation pattern something like this yeah you will think that all oh, price has just broken this pattern and no price is going to continue to the upside so identification is really important what pattern is this okay if you guys remember that we were tracking this falling wedge since very long okay this falling wedge okay here you can see when price started to form that pattern at start the, the pattern was quite similar like expanding triangle okay but pri when price was coming close to the lower trend line it was changing its formation here you can see that yeah at lower trend line price was changing its formation here you can see that yeah a clear pattern is here at this place you can see a clear falling wedge at here was breakout at this place was breakout yeah and the previous pattern has changed itself breakout this breakout okay but price didn't continue to the upside reason why price didn't continue to the upside because if you look at the indication at this place indication wasn't saying that this move gonna come this move gonna come okay so which means that the whole formation is going to change itself okay the pattern still wet still falling wedge but has changed its formation yeah it changed its ranges so new range is this you can see that price respecting that range again that uh, uh, trend line uh, over there yeah so new structure formed new structure or new new ranges yeah but the pattern still same okay so by identifying your pattern you can see that what is the next range of the price at what level price can come okay so here you can see that okay so breakout wasn't aggressive it was expected that price gonna test the, 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 the bottom again here we got the test okay so formed new ranges okay pattern still same pattern hasn't changed itself but changed its ranges okay pattern still falling wedge which is trend continuation okay but change its its, its structure or, or its ranges okay the, the first ranges it was respecting was these ranges yeah price was respecting these ranges respecting this trend line okay but when broken out formed new structure but patterns still same pattern hasn't changed okay so by uh, reanalyzing your chart reanalyzing your pattern reanalyzing your structure you can identify what are the next ranges of this pattern where are the next re reversal point where where price gonna 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 reverse in future where is where is that place here you can see that yes yeah? so this was the price action place you guys can see that okay so 
this move is expected okay so pattern still same pattern hasn't changed just structure changed itself or ranges price ranges changed itself okay pattern still continuation to the upside the big move we are looking for gonna gonna appear to the upside okay so identification is really important is it falling wedge or not some 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 guys are unaware about these things yeah so what is wedge or and what is triangle and what is channel all right so we can see that this pattern is forming almost four pairs on dollar index as this pair australian dollar new zealand dollar and the, the, the chief usd chief okay usd chief euro usd Here is the euro usd yeah okay so the pattern is same all right and you can see on dollar index all right so this is continuation pattern to the pre with the previous trend so if you guys remember that what it told you what i told you yesterday in yesterday meeting Price can come up to the top again. Yeah, can come up to the top again and can test this place. And if so, you can look for sell here at this place. Okay, so price is testing that place. You can look for sell for, for short term to the downside for this trade. Okay, so as I have shown you guys, it is changing its formation from lower trend line so it means that breakout is just coming close to the just coming close yeah so when you are looking to sell be careful okay be careful and use reasonable stop loss because you are looking for this trade Yes, exactly. So that is the reason I'm talking about all these pairs because both, all these pairs are same. Yeah. So pattern is forming same on all these pairs. So you you can have short term sell. Short term sell. This short term sell. Okay. If you don't remember, let me show you what kind of short term sell I'm talking I'm talking about. This one, yeah. This is the USD chief which you are talking about. Look at this move. Okay, so this move came last week. If you remember that, this move came last week. So you are looking for the same move here at this place. Yeah. This move, yeah. This is the, the 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 dollar index. Okay, you can see that there. Yeah, this move. We 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 got this move last week. This move, yeah. Last week we got this move. And uh, in, in yesterday I was asking you to guys look for again price price test that place. You need to watch this place for again short entry same like this one okay so price is testing that place again so this is the trade setup which I'm talking about it is testing the top all right 
So for short term, downside. And when our price is going to hit the, the, the lower trend line, we will look for impulsive move to the upside. Okay. OZ Chief. Okay. What I said to you guys, this is the place to look for sell. Okay. You can see that price action is getting stronger over there. All right. So this was the place to look for for trade setup. This was the place. You can see price hit that place. Okay, so this is the move. Now we are looking for this move. So it has just begun. Okay, you can see the previous previous move completed here. Yeah, completed here. Formed. You guys know know that. Yeah, what pattern is this? Know that, yeah? Yeah, reversal, but what what name we have for this pattern and how that pattern behaves? Okay, some patterns are trend continuation, some patterns are are trend reversal patterns and if you don't know which pattern is trend continuation how you can add a trade on that pattern and if you don't know this pattern is trend reversal pattern yeah it's really easy you know you can uh, if you look at your 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 text you can see that how many guys are confused about about this pattern okay yeah some 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 saying reversal yeah just just one guy you know yeah let me show you another thing. If you don't know the patterns, how you can trade? How you can identify that pattern? How do I know this pattern is going to complete here at this place? How do I know? Yeah, how do I know price gonna come up to this place? Because I can see that price is forming this pattern. And this pattern behaves in a certain way. Every time price start to struggle in, 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 in a particular trend, you will see this kind of formation. Either it is bearish or bullish. Okay, you will see this formation when price start to, you know, start to struggle in a particular, particular trend. It can form wedge, falling wedge or rising wedge, which means that reversal is there. It can form channel descending channel which means that reversal is there so these patterns form with with the divergence and ascending broadening wedge forms then when trend is very strong okay when trend is very strong you will see this kind of pattern ascending broadening wedge so this pattern means that price can reverse from the top from the upper trend line okay how do i know price gonna gonna hit this place because I can, I can see that by drawing these trend lines that, that this pattern normally complete at the upper trend line. You guys can see that after this, this year, price just hit that, 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 that place. And if you guys don't know the name of this pattern, how are you going to trade, trade there, yeah? So see, price just respected that place where I, I was pointing. I was pointing that price going to test this place. Because by drawing these trend lines, I can see that there is a pattern which is forming. The pattern is forming over there and price can test this place. Okay, you can see that the price completed over there. That this pattern completed over there. This pattern, yeah. So if you guys don't know the name, how you can trade? So first of all, you need to identify that pattern and how that pattern behaves. When price hit the, the, trend, hit the trend lines, what price can do? Okay, so identification is really important, guys. Okay, if you know the pattern, you can trade. So basically, this is a ascending broadening wedge, which is trend reversal pattern. It forms when you will see 
the previous impulse gonna quite strong yeah okay so it, it, it is farming over there respecting the, the, the area which were, we were anticipating getting a rejection from that place it means that price is respecting the place which we were anticipating so farming reversal pattern over there it means that price can hold this place okay so we can sell another example of this pattern I can show you on other pair yeah so what kind of reversal you guys can see over there when this pattern form okay so you can see this kind of reversal okay if you know the pattern then you know where to place your trade okay so you guys can see that the same pattern formed here the pattern I have just shown you on US the Australian dollar and on this pair at the current price okay this pattern yeah I have just shown you this pattern completed here at this place okay this pattern yeah and the same pattern completed on, on other pair uh, you know Uzi chief which you know we were anticipating reversal at that place on that pair okay form same pattern on lower time frame and just getting the rejection okay so you can see when this the, 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 the this pattern was completing over there we were I was looking sell at this place you can see fall coming soon so I was anticipating fall after completion of this pattern I was anticipating this fall okay so you need to identify the, 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 the pattern if you can't identify or you don't know the name how you can trade okay so Uzi chief forming the forming reversal pattern on lower time frame and getting rejection from the top okay so those who are in good luck okay so those who are not in you guys need to to watch for the continuation pattern yeah if continuation patterns start to emerge over over here okay so your next entry gonna be there to the downside okay so it is quite possible that the, the, this formation gonna gonna change okay so be careful yeah the, the, the price not gonna form this continuation pattern over here yeah and gonna rise back again to the top so this is possible okay so those who are into this trade don't need to be worried about that just stay into that trade use reasonable stop loss just stay into that trade yeah we are at top so reversal is highly likely possible from this place Uziyan okay so we have spoken about this pair in yesterday meeting yeah we got this move okay we got this impulse over there you can see that yeah broken down with impulsive move although you know I was anticipating if impulse you know will not appear or if impulse you know not gonna come then it can further push to the upside same like this and then gonna drop to the downside yeah so now I can see that you guys are doing well yeah so your eyes are getting sharper and sharper and sharper now you can identify a pattern now you can see which candle is gonna be impulsive and which candle is gonna be corrective and which gonna change the direction of the trend and which no gonna change the direction of the trend that is really important okay so this guy sold right at the top okay this guy sold right at the top and added more and sold on break uh, breakout okay so if you if you if you understand the pattern if you understand the structure you understand the indications okay then you can understand where is your buy or sell place where you can get into the market for better risk reward ratio
and this guy also did well yeah okay so he he sold for short term uh, you know new zealand and 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 yen all right so you you know you can see that price forms patterns structure and moves within that structure and patterns and repeat that behavior again and again again and again again and again so you need to stick with that 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 technique yeah so you need to wait when you know one once price gonna hit to your place your entry place or your reversal place you need to trigger your entry yeah so it, it's quite simple not not a difficult thing yeah you just need to 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 to, to stick with your with your rules and you need to, to to be patient if you are not patient you're not gonna get 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 profit from the market okay so these guys guys are doing well took some good entries over there okay so here we can see that yeah the move within the pattern is just getting started yeah you can see price respecting this place okay so this move is highly likely possible again price can test the bottom all right forming new structure pattern is same okay pattern hasn't changed just structure change or your price ranges has changed pattern still continuation falling wedge okay so the first pattern was this price running within this falling wedge okay now has changed its formation its structure pattern is still same all right so this move is highly likely again into this pattern okay so we can see on on, on one hour time frame continuation yeah impulse continuation pattern impulse and again continuation pattern all right although breakout is not uh, impulsive and uh, and strong enough which gonna continue to the downside also sell based on this breakout is not uh, you know with the indication so indication is pointing somewhere here price gonna come somewhere here okay or it can extend extend its ranges okay it can extend its ranges or, or can change its formation okay so wait for the for the indications to give you a, give you a sell then trigger your entry yeah just 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 placing your stop loss behind the previous structure okay the, the place price is respecting all right so we can see that the the, the, the trade setup we are looking for i will explain okay same like the, the, the yesterday one I have explained this pair in yesterday meeting as well yeah okay so we can see price is just coming close to the the, the, the area where the previous impulse has just begun okay testing the, the, the same place again okay so this is the place testing the same place again so we are looking this move within this flat channel yeah now on lower time frame we can see that on four hour time frame it, 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 it is forming the pattern which is trend reversal okay this move this move we are looking at the moment within this within this ascending broadening wedge if it, it, it will break down we will hold that trade for longer run and if price is gonna respect this place not gonna break down then we will look for upside okay and once again price gonna hit the top we will look for sell we will not look for buy we are not looking for buy for you know buy means for longer term buy a big trade to the upside so we we, we will look for big trade to the downside we are short on this pair since very long okay on for short term this is the trade for short term, this is the trade you guys need to consider. 
okay if you guys remember that when I shared this trade with you price wasn't there so still it is not uh, you know good to bu good to buy if you guys are looking to buy so there is no any indication that price is gonna reverse from the current current you know current price okay no indications and if you are buying you are buying based on your indication or based on your 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 Fibonacci ratios or based on the 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 the, the, the impulse you know the, the price is, is is testing the previous impulse has just begun to so price is testing that place Okay, so there is no indication at the moment that price is going to turn to the upside. All right, so you are relying on your tools at the moment. So impulse isn't there. Okay, so when I share this trade setup, you can see where price was. Price was there at this place, yeah. So we were looking by somewhere here. Once price gonna come close to this place. Okay, so we can see price is coming came close to that place now we are looking to, to, to buy okay for buy you need to 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 look look at the impulsive move okay impulsive move mean some impulsive candles on your lower time frame of course you can look at your one hour time time frame for for that Momentum if that momentum generates over there on lower time frame then it means price respecting the place where the previous impulse has just begun and Price gonna start to the upside price gonna turn to the upside Okay, so we can see that there is no momentum like that. Yeah on lower time frame Okay, so what what we can see here on lower time frame this is a trend continuation pattern to the downside rather than to the upside. Okay, so this is a continuation pattern to the downside rather than rather than to the upside. Okay, so you can read your momentum on your lower time frame. So the momentum is to the downside rather than to the upside. Okay, so you can see on your one hour time frame. That impulsive move coming over there on lower time frame. Okay, so once you will see momentum is building over there on lower time frame, you can tr tr trigger your, your your trade. So, for example, we can we can see something like this. Although it is because of the news event, but you can see that momentum again just okay so something like this or if, if not like that this is a this is just because of the, the, the impulse so something like this yeah momentum something like this you can you can read this momentum even on your lower time frame that that not a, not a you know difficult task okay so one hour time uh, one minute time frame can tell you the momentum if you are looking trade set up on 15 minutes or 30 minute time frame yeah for short term so you can go through to, to, to your lower time frame so price is testing to your reversal point all right for upside so watch the momentum for upside on your lower time frame if you will see that it means price is going to reverse okay catch if you guys can see that how strong breakout is there that is the reason guys i i was saying to you in yesterday meeting I wasn't anticipating that price gonna hit this place. Price gonna break out before that. Let me bring back the image so that we just can recall. Okay, so the whole area, the whole place was a sell place. Okay. 
Okay, so the, the price can claim further to the upside, but I wasn't anticipating that because the, the, the breakout was a corrective and a lot of divergence was over there, which was anticipating, you know, which was giving a signal that price is going to break down very soon. So how you need to, to, to place your trade when this kind of formation was price was forming over there. Okay, so you can look at your lower time frame. On your lower time frame, you can see price was running into this structure. This structure, yeah, was price was running into this pattern forming these patterns and running into this structure okay and the whole structure was corrective okay so these moves were impulsive these moves were impulsive these three moves were impulsive to the upside but the whole ascending channel was corrective to the upside. Okay, so whenever price come close to the top, you can look for sell. You can look for sell. Okay, you can you can catch small profit. Okay, for this this corrective move, but in longer run, you are you you were anticipating this move. Okay, you were anticipating this move means change in trend, change in this ascending trend okay and whenever this trend gonna start it will end up this corrective structure okay now this corrective structure finished gone so this is how you can look for trade setup on your lower time frame when, when such kind of structure gonna form our corrective patterns gonna form okay so we can see Impulse is over there, move is over there. For those who sold at the top, they, they, they did well. Okay, so some of you guys sold here, here at this place. Okay, they, they read this impulse very late. Very late. Okay, at least 50% of this move has gone. 50% of this move has gone. You missed the 50% of the move. Okay, so that is the, 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 the way you guys need to look for on such kind of structure and patterns. Okay, so look for sell every time when price climb up. You can you can you can get small profit, but when the impulsive move gonna start, you will remain into that 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 trade. Okay, you will get that trade. Alright, so if Price not gonna form impulsive move again, gonna form corrective move and come close to the trend line, which means that there is one more move up left. Okay, one more impulse price can form. All right, so you can buy for that, but buying for that, for that impulsive move to the upside. Is okay for a short period of time for 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 short short period of time but gonna be more risky rather than the sell more risky because the the, the 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 potential you are looking for upside is limited limited within these this zone within this area price can reverse to the downside at any time it can fall back at any time and when it will fall it can stop you even it will not give you enough time to close your trade on break even or you can manage your 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 stop loss well okay so you need to be on on that side where which is less risky okay so we are at top so reversal is highly likely possible at the top okay you can see okay so you can see impulses just generating from the top when I'm price climbing up to the top generating the, the, the impulses okay so if you will look for buy buy gonna for short term okay and sell gonna for for longer run because you are you are at the reversal point and when when price gonna start to reverse this is the, the the area this is the zone where price can come 
all right so how you guys need to look now on this the sphere so the impulse is over there okay so you can see even on your one minute when this impulse was generating you can see price was forming these trend continuation pattern and just breaking okay you can you can identify these patterns that's not a big problem okay so this is a sharp correction okay this is a sharp correction or impulse for short term you guys can see that impulse for short term yeah you can you can you can check on on your lower time frame as well so no question about that okay when you see impulse is very sharp very sharp mean very sharp okay same like this so the trend continuation pattern you only will see on your lower time frame for example we can see the impulse was sharp and we can see continuation pattern was forming on lower time frame but when we will change our time frame on 15 minute or 5 minute we will not see those patterns yeah because the correction is for short term rather than for the longer longer term yeah i'm, I'm talking about the cat chief okay so here you can see impulse this is not a not a continuation pattern like previous one like the previous one okay so this is the the impulse and this is the correction which means that it can extend correction here at this zone okay so you will see a correction something like this yeah so same like the pattern I have shown you here, here, okay, so it can form this kind of continuation pattern here. Why? Why it can form that? Because price has, price has already moved a lot. So it has to correct for continuation to the downside. Same like the, 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 the one minute, okay, okay, same like, like the one minute. If you will count from this impulse, Okay, so according to this impulse, price has moved a lot. It ha price have to correct for continuation. Okay, so same like this. Have to correct. So some guys, you know, use uh, fib levels for the for, for the uh, you know for the pullback. So they 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 they, they, they draw fib lines and look for the potential reversal point. So, so that potential reversal point always gonna vary. You're not gonna give you a, give you an accurate result for reversal. Okay, but you can use your indication for potential reversal for for the pull pullback continuation. So we need to look for correction for for something like uh, one hour or fifteen minutes. Okay, so if that continuation emerges over there. Then you can look for another entry to the downside. All right, so we can see impulses over there. So you can look for another entry over there for the for the downside. All right, so still potential is there. Even it can break to the downside. If you guys remember that, we are looking for the bigger move to the downside. All right. Okay, so. We are looking for the bigger move to the downside. All right. Cadian. Okay. So this is how you guys can identify. Just let me know where I was looking for sell setup yesterday. Just tell me, please. Anyone knows that? Yeah. Where I was looking for sell yesterday. No one remember that, yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get sound on, on yesterday in the meeting. Anyone remember that? Where I was looking for sell? Exactly. Thank you for that, Rafael. I was looking for sell here at this place. Thank you.
thank you here at this place okay so this was the trend continuation pattern here at this place you can look for sell based on your risk taking entry okay so this was the move which is coming all right so 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 caution is required before taking trade okay so you can see price respected that place hold price was holding that place and started to fall this move okay so let me bring back the image the first image before this move this this fall this is the image yeah so we are getting this move this move is about to complete okay so you can see price broken down this corrective trend line and formed continuation pattern and moving to the downside all right so once price gonna hit the bottom trend line we will look for a trade setup either it is going to, to, to reverse to the upside or what okay once price hit the bottom trend line we will look for price action okay so this is about to complete okay so we can see price action is forming about to, about to complete yeah so we will look for this move all right <coughs> so buy as much low okay so it is good to buy as much low as you can so you can you can manage your stop loss well rather than getting early into the to the, to the to the trade so you will have to use your bigger stop loss for that then that that stop loss is going to be reasonable so try to use that so we can see that price is respecting at the lower lows forming some kind of impulses remember we can see on let me bring back the image first then i will talk about this Just a second, I'm on there. Yeah, here we got the image. Okay, so we can see prices respecting this place and generating some impulses at the previous impulses, impulsive, impulsive point. So although this impulse wasn't strong and was a corrective, okay, but we can see some price action is over there. It is clear. Yeah. We can see some price action here, which we, we, you know, here we can see some price action. This guy, this price action wasn't there, wasn't there, wasn't there. Yes, all these were showing that corrective moves and show, giving some some indication to the downside okay so we are looking still buy to the upside all right although we can see that the pattern is forming at the bottom looks like continuation to the downside yeah looks like continuation to the downside yeah but we are not looking for sell we are looking for buy for this move remember if Uzi cheap will start to fall this pair will also start to to rise okay and it will and we are also looking sell on australian you know on uzi dollar and us dollar okay if us dollar uh, uzi dollar and us dollar gonna fall because that pair has already moved a lot against the dollar so you australian dollar has got a lot of strength okay so move you know i'm anticipating that uzi dollar gonna get weaker in coming days so that is the reason we are looking for for the up move around the australian dollar okay so 
here we got the, the breakout of this pair okay price didn't hit this bottom so this pair was quite you know uh, you know behaving quite similar like catchy okay so broken out all right so now how you can look for buy you can look for buy within this pattern but need to look for a continuation pattern as I have shown you on catchy continuation pattern in both is over there continuation pattern is required before looking to buy for the upside all right euro yen all right so we can see strong move is over there on this pair yeah for longer run this is my structure yeah this is the structure i am looking for here on this okay so although you guys can see that this is continuation pattern forming to the upside yeah so it can break to the upside it can break to the upside but i'm looking for this move this wave okay so if we're gonna get this move here on this pair so i think we we, we will see that yen gonna get stronger in, in in coming days okay so how we can trade on lower time frame i'm not looking for upside breakout i'm not looking for breakout on all yen pair you can see continuation pattern is farming almost on all yen pairs okay so accept usd yen okay accept usd yen so i think in usd yen we will get a short term trade within that pattern i will show you that pattern short term up trade on that in that pattern in that structure i will show you yeah so the trade is simple is to the upside same like this one yeah S simple to the upside within this pattern okay so yesterday we have spoken about this pair yeah so that is the reason i asked you to guys there is no buy setup because the move which is falling hasn't completed yet okay when so this is the trade setup okay so this move is completing at the bottom although it is extending the lower low farming new lows okay so this is the image yeah so there wasn't set up for the upside because the move hasn't completed yet so the move has completed itself the, the, this move has completed itself okay now we will look for upside for the completion of this pattern this structure okay so you can see price action forming nice price action forming is over there yeah if you look at the lower time frame impulses is forming so this does not mean that you just straight away look for buy okay this does not mean that you you need to look for buy straight away if you guys know the sharp correction yeah so sharp correction does not mean you guys just get into get into the trade straight away when you will see sharp correction yes sharp sharp correction appears over there and continue with the previous trend so this is this trend still intact it can test the, the bottom again it can form new lows so careful and be patient don't need to be to worry about your about your buy setup yeah so this is the trade setup you guys need to, to look for okay okay so if this trade setup ap appears correctively okay corrective move the corrective move something like this yeah okay so there was a lot of divergence when price was hitting at this place if again same move up here we will look for sell okay rather than looking for buy for continuation to the upside only we will hold our trade for continuation to the upside 
if we will see prices just leaving this corrective area aggressively okay impulsively so for example like this yeah yeah price has just left the, the corrective area and now it's forming a new pattern or new structure yeah so this price was running into this pattern yeah this has left you can see forming impulse has left that structure so same like that if price started to start to rise aggressively to the upside on this pair at from the bottom then this then this corrective structure gonna end okay this move this move will leave this structure behind if price is gonna start to rise aggressively right if price not gonna start to rise aggressively start to rise correctively then there is one more move we will look for downside okay so there wasn't a breakout setup there wasn't a buy breakout a lot of discussions we did about this pair in last days in last couple of days yeah in the group because some of some so some of you guys were crazy to look for breakout somewhere here breakout okay so if someone you know if I'm on on, on, on top on trading view this does not mean that I, I I'm, I'm a I'm a a consistent consistent trader okay so trading view does not mean if someone come on come on top on trading view this does not mean they are can making lot tens of thousand or billions dollar profit okay so don't you know get trapped from from just trading view numbers or, or, or something like that yeah this does not mean that, 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 that they are successful traders or they are consistent traders or whenever they, they're going to post their charts on the tv and price going to move into their, their directions so things not going to work like that yeah sometimes you read market correctly uh, and appropriately and price move into your directions and sometimes you just miss read read the, 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 the market and market turn against you okay so for short term for short term it is pushing to the downside yeah and whenever price will come close to the bottom you need to look for buy all right let me show you the the, the, the example yeah If price not gonna come close to your your place, your buy or sell place, stay away from that pair. There are a lot of other pairs you can look for trade. And so no, this is not a pair. What? No. Here we got this. This is the pair. Yeah. This is the Euro New Zealand. Okay. So buy setup was at the bottom. You got this trade. This is the trade over here. First target head. Yeah, then you need to look for an other buy setup at the at the lows or you can sell for short term to the downside okay so it's really simple there is no breakout setup forming within this this uh, in this pair to the upside cause the reason the reason is that the whole bottom are, is is very corrective very corrective structure forming yeah you will see a lot of a continuation pattern to the upside but all those patterns gonna fail you're not gonna get buy setup over there okay so you will see a clear cut impulse which will leave this corrective structure from the bottom to the upside okay but for that euro need to to to, to be stronger against all other pairs okay and new zealand dollar need to get weaker Okay, so currently we can see New Zealand dollar is getting stronger for a short period of time, pushing to the upside. All right, 
and euro is pushing to the downside against almost against other pairs like USD dollar yeah so we are looking for short term so you need to consider all these things also for looking breakout setup somewhere here on, on, on this pair that is the reason this pair is forming continuation pattern but failing again and again because euro is not getting stronger at the moment euro is in huge pressure okay so more downside is expected on euro so this was the buy setup okay so this was the move okay so hit the first target now forming again move to the downside okay so first target hit All right. So analyze your own chart rather than depending on others so that you can learn what you what you are looking for and next time you can save yourself from mistakes. Okay, so same like the dollar index. We can see that price just respecting the lower trend line again, which means that one more move, move up is left. Okay. So have given you example yesterday on this pair. You can look for impulsive signs on your lower time frame that price is respecting that place. All right. So okay, if price do not break down, we will look for sell again, same like this one. Okay, same like this one. Okay. So we are more interested to sell rather than buying in, on this pair more interested to sell rather than buying on this pair okay just remember this example just remember this example okay so we are looking this move on euro and usd although this this corrective uptrend or ascending channel for was for short term okay but this is how this pattern works okay. this uptrend was for short term but this is how this pattern ends up okay so this that that is what i was saying to you guys yesterday whenever you will see breakout over there on your usd you will see something like this yeah in couple of candles your corrective structure gonna be over okay so if we look at the one hour time frame yeah one two three four five in five candles your previous structure is over so we may see same thing on euro usd and that is what i'm anticipating on euro usd okay whenever this corrective structure gonna be over it will over like catchy yeah this move gonna appear because the whole whole move is corrective yeah it will have to end at some point it can extend itself okay and whenever it will finish it will fall back aggressively all right so it is changing its formation at the top so structure changing yeah so which means that breakout breakout is just coming close to the corner Get ready for that. Okay. So remember, I have asked you to guys, we will look for this move. We are not looking for breakout. I'm anticipating that this corrective structure is about to over. Pound is going to get weaker rather than getting more stronger, yeah? In last meeting, we were an, in anticipating breakout, but we didn't get that breakout. We, price even did not hit the trend line. So you can see continuation pattern, continuation pattern, a bigger continuation pattern, yeah? And again, continuation pattern. Although you can see impulses also there okay so we will look for this move at least break below 
Okay, so range is getting narrows. Range is getting narrows means breakout is ahead. Simple technique, all right? So share that 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 image with you into the group. Yeah. So I I ask you to guys look for sell setup when price hit the upper trend line. Yeah. So it is up hitting. Okay, it is hitting the trend line. Okay, so you need to look for setup. Okay, so just go with me. Not this one. Which one? Just bear with me, please. Here. Okay, so watch sell setup here. It is coming close to the upper trend line. Watch for sell setup here. Although it is it is 15 minute chart, but we can see that it is also farming trend continuation pattern on for our time frame. Yeah. So breakdown is possible. Price can break down this previous low. So I have uh, spoken about the cat sheep yesterday. Yeah. Let me show you. Okay. So here we got the breakout. Here we got the breakout, we got the reversal pattern over there. I have spoken about this. Yeah, we got the breakout. So breakout is corrective. Let's wait for the price to climb up correctively, then we will short on it. We will sell this pair rather than looking for buy. Okay, so we can see price resisting at this place. We are not interested to look for upside. We are more interested to look for sell on this pair rather than breakout. We are not looking for breakout. We will sell it. Once price is going to come close to the trend line here, we will look for this move. All right. So here again, the same pattern is farming over there. As we can see that on cat on cat okay so it can also break up okay and if breakout is corrective and price gonna form like this pattern we are down yeah and if breakout is aggressive we will look for a short here at the top okay so you can buy for short term to the upside but we are looking for short first for, for, for short trade once price gonna hit the top okay the trade we will look for is this okay we are not interested to or we are not looking for breakout to the upside i don't think so we're gonna get breakout we can see that this is continuation pattern to the downside and price will start to fall okay so catchy uh, New Zealand and catch if we can see that impulse is over there yeah okay so this is how you guys can catch although I'm anticipating here at this place so my my entry is there still there I didn't get into the into this trade I will wait if price will climb up I will wait and then trigger my entry so my order is still there okay but here here is the, the the technique how you can look for momentum on lower time frame yeah some of you guys get confused and ask me again and again how we can look for trade setup okay so this is the move and this move was coming close to your cell area cell zone and now you are looking for sell early sell based on your indication yeah now you are you are 
uh, trying to read the market momentum you can go through to your lower time frame and you can watch for these kind of price action these kind of price action over there if you will see impulsive signs over there i will try my best i best i don't think so i have got enough time to look at that before we'll do that tomorrow no worry okay so we can see that new zealand chief was farming this corrective move all right, so I was asking you to guys look for price action. You got price action over there. You got a reversal over there for short term to the downside. Okay. You got a reversal over there. You can see impulses farming over there, farming continuation pattern, farming continuation pattern. Here you can see farming continuation pattern, farming continuation pattern, and pushing to the downside. And if you will look at the, the, the current price, you can see still farming continuation pattern to the downside. Okay, so this is how you can read the momentum on lower time frame. Okay, pattern you will see every time over there. Without pattern, market no gonna move. Okay. Continuation, 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 and respecting the the lower trend line and forming the impulse, giving you an indication that price can stay into this structure for for short term for quite short period of time. Okay. So respecting this. Come on. Okay, so guys, how you how we how you guys need to look for on this? Yeah, we can see that on four hour time frame, price is forming continuation pattern to the downside. We are short on it. We are looking for short. Yeah, some of you guys are in. Um, unlike he's still not in, but we'll try my best to get into this trade again when when price will climb up. Climb up. Yeah, this this is forming the four hour corrective pattern, so it it can climb up again. This is the move we are looking for. All right, so farming for our corrective pattern, it can clean up again. Be careful, it can clean up again. All right, so this is the move we are looking for. Okay, so other pair. I think enough for for today. Enough for today, yeah. Some dollar pairs left, but we will talk about 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 them tomorrow let me bring back the the previous trades the previous week trades okay so you guys can recall okay we have already spoken about these trades but okay so this move completed over there we are looking for sell for downside we can see prices are respecting the top so these trade setup you know which we have which we have we you know we have spoken about these trade setups in last week all right so completed this move completed this way now we are more interested to sell okay so this is the usd chief we were licking this move this move completed and same technique you guys need to apply again okay we got this move now we are looking for this move Okay, for clear break up with strong impulsive move, we'll let you know that the strong impulsive wave is about to come and change in pattern just about to begin and the corrective move is going to end. Okay, so I have spoken to you guys, I have you know explained to you guys how to look for sell. Here was the example at this place. When price was forming, this was the sell signal. You can catch that on lower time frame. This is the 240. You're not gonna see that. This is the move, yeah. Completed. Now we are looking for price action at the bottom. Not interested at the moment, but 
watching what kind of price action price is forming over there okay so this was the signal you can see price formed over there and completed this corrective move to the downside okay so this let me close these images I have a lot of open there okay so completed USTN and completed the dollar index now we are leaking same thing here at this place you can see that price is forming over there yeah unreasonable if you if you think that you you have given enough a reasonable room to your trade then you you know I mean if price has moved from your entry point and you you think that it is well away from your entry point then you can move and break even and if you think that it hasn't moved and is just close to your entry point then I think you should stay away at your stop loss rather than moving the stop loss on break even okay so you should give enough room to your your your, your trade so basically it also depends on your your trade setup where your trade setup is forming I mean on which time frame and how much risk you are taking on that trade so these things are also important you need to consider these things when you are looking to move on break even okay so we got this move we, we got this move now price is trying to, to climb up again okay so here is the dollar index same we got this move okay now we are we got this move and we got this move as well okay so you, you remember that price is you know broken down and forming continuation and coming down completing this flat channel here yeah we got this move no this move is also broken down yeah completing the flat channel at, the, at this place all right so here is the australian dollar and new zealand dollar if you remember that i have spoken about this yet is forming triangle broken down and completed this move now we are looking for this move all right okay so this move so there wasn't buy setup some of you guys were so excited they were looking buy setup here and even was asking me on trading you should we we get in the, into the trade and i was saying no there is no buy setup because the, the pattern we can see is continuation to the downside rather than to the upside so here is the, the, the signal for upside. Now we can see price farming continuation pattern over here. Yeah, we are looking for downside. Okay, for the next wave to the downside. Okay, so I have spoken about this pattern completed here. We are looking for this move. If this move gonna be corrective, we will look for buy. If impulsive, we will hold and we'll look for further downside. Okay, this pattern completed over there. Yeah looking for this move for short term on lower time frame on 15 minute we are anticipating one more up move before coming down all right okay so completed this pattern you can see on 30 minute yeah this pattern was completed over there and this is continuation same like the pattern i have sh shown you on dollar index yeah so this is the falling wedge guys don't be You know, don't you know identify this pattern correctly, okay? This is falling wedge. Alright, so this is falling wedge. Broken out completed this pattern here at this place. Alright, so same move we are looking for on those pairs where we can see this pattern is for this kind of move we are looking for. Although this is on 30 minutes. But those patterns are forming on bigger time frame. Yeah, so we are we got this corrective move. We are looking for this move. Alright, so this corrective move I have explained to you guys in detail. Yeah, so price is moving. Alright, so explain to you this one as well. Forming continuation. Yeah, about to complete at the bottom. Yeah. Yesterday asked me to look for here at this place complete completing this move is about to complete this move is also about to complete so we 
will not look for this much. This is overestimated. Okay, we will look for price action here, and then we will look for breakout. If price is going to break to the upside or not, and if price gonna respect this place, then one more move down is possible. Currently, price is here. We are looking for this move. Okay, so that move is completed to the downside. Yeah, completed here at and watching for the price action. Yes, and now this move. Okay, so I have spoke, spoken about this. We are looking for this move. Yeah, completed the, 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 the corrective move to the downside. Okay, so this move is also completed. We are looking for upside. Okay, so all these trade setups which we, we have spoken in last week if you guys remember that yeah completed first target is there yeah now we will look for buy again at the bottom once price gonna hit the bottom the bottom okay so pound and a uh, american dollar you know short term downside then up move completed now we are looking for big move to the downside and yeah, so this move, uh, th 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 this was the corrective trend continuation pattern, this was the trend continuation pattern, and this move I was anticipating to the downside, yeah, we got that, and we got that move after that, okay, so we can see that price is just completing this pattern over there, right, okay, and if we will see continuation, we will look for, and if we will see impulse, we will look for sell here at the top and we will try to buy this for short term to the upside okay so New Zealand yen completed this move completed see I'm watching for the price section at this place okay all the prices price section is isn't strong for the upside but still watching all right so USD cat USD CAD completed here, formed this move, okay, so this move came after that, we were anticipating short it there, okay, so now, let me show you another image, okay, as you guys can see that, some of you guys are unaware about that, so that is the reason I need to share that image with you guys. I bought USD cat. Yeah, so this is the image I shared with you guys. Okay, so I bought okay so I bought here at this place why I didn't bought this here or here why I didn't bought here why I didn't bought here okay this is how guys you can join the impulse okay when I when I have seen this impulse price is forming impulse then I joined this impulse I bought here okay and price started to climb after that this is how you can join the impulse when price is just you know farming some some patterns reversal pattern at your your trend reversal point although there was another indication and that is this okay that is this and this is the continuation pattern impulse continuation pattern and continuation to the upside all right this is how you guys can join the impulse okay on your lower time frame so USD cat is moving to the upside we didn't look at that pair so I'm anticipating more upside rather than to the downside so it has already moved and for continuation to the upside you need to wait for the trend continuation pattern because the impulse has gone 
okay so impulse has gone you, you guys need to watch for the continuation pattern here okay for the upside so it it can fall back again all right it can fall back again if so then we will look for buy again at the bottom we were we are anticipating one more move up before continuation to the downside all right so i will update about that ust let me let me look at that here yeah so we are looking for upside on, on usd care showing some price action okay so it is also showing some signs yeah you can see this pattern is not a way to to to, to fall back or, or a reversal or huge reversal okay you guys know that this pair is just pushing to the upside yeah and this move is a corrective move not a not an impulsive move okay so this is the impulsive move this is the trend okay so this is the all-time high i think this is the all-time high so we are looking for this move and this move may be impulsive okay and if no gonna be impulsive gonna be corrective then we will look for a downside okay so this move can break to the upside so i'm already into this trade i i have bought this trade i have seen impulsive signs over there on lower time frame yeah you can see these kind of impulsive sign was appearing here at this place after that we can't see any impulsive sign here all these impulsive signs were continuation to the downside here i i have seen this impulsive sign to the upside okay so i'm um, into this trade for longer run to the upside let's see what we're gonna get in this trade yeah i think enough for to, to, to today yeah we have already passed one hour and 27 minutes yeah and you guys as it seems to me that you guys tired yeah all right so enough for today guys i will upload this this recording so that you guys can go through again so the stuff we have spoken about mostly you know the same stuff which we have spoken yesterday about about this stuff yeah so enough for today guys any question yeah is there any question no thank you very much thank you very much thank you guys have a nice weekend and great weekend and profitable weekend a week sorry have a profitable week see you tomorrow guys thank you very much bye bye